The Star Wars Super Watch has begun. I'm going to post this in our Discord. Okay. But basically, after watching Ahsoka, I'm like, I was like, man, you know, sometimes the show just kind of, even though, like, I didn't really necessarily love the ending, but, like, the show overall, like, reawakened my, like, oh, mm-hmm. I want to do this Super Watch. I made this list. And it's a shared document or a shared note on my iPhone. And I share it with Brandon and and Frank or whatever. But it is literally, it's a combination of everything in in, um, chronological order. But it includes some things that might not, it's not canon officially. But still for me, it's canon to me, right? And I'm talking, I want to fill everything up. So I go straight, like I start with Tales of the Jedi Dooku episode. I think that's right now at present because I'm not counting the High Republic. No offense to the High Republic. I just don't have enough time for that. But uh, And Old Republic, obviously, with all my movies and stuff. But uh, I start with Tales of the Jedi, Dooku, the Jedi Dooku episode where okay. he's with Qui-Gon, young Qui-Gon. Um, and then the next episode where he goes on a mission with Mace Windu. And that's all before the events of The Phantom Menace. Then there's two comics and the great thing about YouTube is you can read any comic on YouTube or have <laughs> someone true. perform it for you. That's true. And so there's these Did you two say series. Perform it? Yeah, there's like a like a performance sound design. Like, wow, it's okay. fantastic! It's not just so. The, the next two things would be Age of Republic Qui Gon and Age of Republic Mao Maul Maui. It looks like Maui Maul. So these are stories that have it's Maul like ex, uh, exterminating a couple uh, Jedi, and it's a Qui Gon mission that helps inform them, right? And so these are on YouTube, like with pan down and like animated, well, not gotcha. animated, but like, you know, they'll zoom in on a yeah, shot yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. Um, and so I'm doing all of this. Then it goes to the Darth Plagueis novel, which I know is not canon, but for me it is canon because it's such a good book. I recommend it. To, I, I try to tell my co-host on Jedi Way, Laura, because she loves the books, to read it. She's been stubborn so far, but she, I, <laughs> I would break her. Um, Plagueis, and I've been telling Frank about it too, singing his praises. Plagueis, what's great about it, and spoiler alert if you haven't read it, but at this point, who cares? Because uh, you just got, this will make you want to read it. It's not just before Phantom Menace. It happens during Phantom Menace. They pull some Back to the Future 2, Part 2 stuff in the Plagueis novel that when you watch Phantom Menace later, you're like, oh my God, there's shit going on. <laughs> Literally, like a balcony up above. Like, it's, it's oh, so right. cool. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. When, when Qui-Gon is explaining to Anakin what midi-chlorians are, Plagueis is still alive then. Plagueis is alive during Phantom Menace, and he's spying on the binoculars, and he's trying to guess what this Jedi is doing with this little boy. And then Damn, he tells man. Palpatine about the little boy and saying that there's a swirl of uh, force around him or whatever, which later inspires the whole, I'll be watching your career with great interest. So the Plagueis novel, the first part happens before Phantom Menace. And then when you get up to the part where you could tell, they're like, oh, the Jedi is returning from, there's a blockade on Naboo. You stop reading Plagueis. <laughs> or you listen to the audiobook, what I do. Yeah. Then you go, and I'll, I'll try to keep this quick, Frank, but uh, we're talking crawls today. It's fine. Yeah. This is my opening crawl. <laughs> then you go to Phantom Menace, and you watch Phantom Menace up until the part where then, because then there's the Dooku animated Tales of the Jedi with Yaddle. And the first part of it takes place right after Qui-Gon arrives. So it's you have to stop and start and do things. So like right after they return from Tatooine, and they have the thing, he, oh, uh, I discovered a virgin's in the Force. Yeah. When he's leaving, when they leave that Jedi Council meeting, then you go to the Dooku animated thing. Because Dooku's there deleting right. Camino files right there. Then he runs into Qui-Gon. Then that's the cold open because then it goes to the logo. The next time you go back from logo, Qui-Gon's dead. So oh then you gosh. go back <laughs> to Phantom Menace and then you watch it and tell. And then, then after Phantom Menace, I'm not going to do the whole thing. Don't worry. I'm just going to tell you how you get out of the... Um, young Anakin because oh, okay. there's a lot of that's untapped where you're like whoa I didn't know this so then after Phantom Menace you read the or you listen to because I don't know how to read who does mm-hmm. you listen to the epilogue of Darth Plagueis novel where he actually talks to Dooku in that same uh, hangar that Yaddle is later killed oh okay then it's pretty cool yeah and you find out like other things like how how he hid Plagueis's death he kills by the way he kills Plagueis the night that he wins the election that night when they're celebrating, that's how he kills Plagueis. I won't tell you why. This is why that novel is so that's, cool. That's and, very cool. Very and just cool. to give you a heads up too, if you in the beginning's crazy where he kills his family, like Palpatine gets seduced. A lot of it is like kind of long. We're like, man, it takes a while to get there. But if you read the last like four chapters or listen to the last four chapters of Plagueis, that's the stuff that literally that in for, what I did for this rewatch is like I'm just I'm worried about. 
the stuff that happens during Phantom Menace. Okay. <laughs> so then after Phantom Menace, then you do the finish, the epilogue of Darth Plagueis. Then you go to the Je- Tales of the Jedi, the rest of the Yaddle episode where she dies. Then that's like the kick. That is the end. The Yaddle's death. And then you meet Dooku. And you've now seen Dooku so much that by the time you get to him in episode two, it's like you realize, like, oh, of course, this is the one that was disenfranchised. Okay. It's so crazy how your brain fills in these gaps because that's what happens. And I did that when I showed my wife the uh, Phantom, Men- or Phantom Menace and all that. Originally, I, I did this order, not with all the comics. She'd be like, what are you doing? I'm going to divorce you. But, like, <laughs> I did the uh, Phantom Menace and intercut it with the Dooku. She's like, why are you stopping? I'm like, because you got to watch this animated cartoon about Dooku. She must have been like, what are you doing? Anyways, long story short, then when that's all wrapped up and Yaddle's dead, then that's when Ahsoka's born. So then you go to the Ahsoka origin episode. Oh so now you're moving on to the next phase where Anakin's being a Padawan. And right when Anakin's becoming a Padawan, Ahsoka's born. So you watch Tales of the Jedi Ahsoka's origin. And then if you want, you can read the last chapter of Star Wars Rogue Planet because it talks about how Anakin has a dream and there's something inside that gives him rage and he's trying to deal with it. And that's when he's still like an 11-year-old boy. Uh-huh. Pretty interesting. It's all in his head. And then you go to the Age of Republic Anakin and Obi-Wan short where it's his first mission where he goes off with Obi-Wan. And again, you can find mm-hmm. it all on YouTube. To search Age of Republic, someone made a playlist. You can watch all of the Age of Republic shorts. They're like eight minutes long. They're like oh, little cartoon okay. shorts. And then there's a full Obi-Wan and Anakin comic series, which takes place, again, when Anakin's in between Attack of the Clones age. And, and it's just interesting because you're like, there's a lot of this stuff. Like they have uh, in one of the comics, I forget which one it is. Like he's kind of shunned by his classmates, but he it's kind of by his own design. He just thinks they're all way below him now in, in speed because he's so fast at learning that he's always sitting off to the side in like the that room with Liam and all that. Well, Liam's not there, but you know, the room. Yeah, with, yeah, yeah. Like he's off to the side, kind of frustrated and, and stuff like that. But when he finally goes on a mission with Obi-Wan at one point, he kind of freezes and then he, he learns that lesson. And it's Obi-Wan and him, like the early growing pains, really interesting stuff. And after you're done watching Obi-Wan and Anakin comic series, then you you can watch the flashback from Kenobi series, which is Obi-Wan and Anakin training, because that happens right before it's true. Right. you finally get to Attack of the Clones. So those are the first 14 things. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I have this list. I go through everything. I mean, I'm talking, it's going to go into Attack of the Clones. Then you watch the Clone Wars movie. Then you have to go to the Ahsoka flashback scenes. And like, there's all this stuff, even the Tartoski or whatever. Tartoski, yeah. That's up his name. Uh, some of that I can I watch like it's, it's I'm going to watch everything in the slow build chronological oh order. And I just gave you the first 14 things. There's 64 ending with the rise of Skywalker. So, okay. Um, yeah. for fans, if you guys want to see that list, just hit us up in discord or hit me on Twitter or whatever. I shared it with Frank. I want Frank to join me with it, but he has some catching up to do, but yeah, it's, it's fun. Uh, like I said, I've started it before we started this show. And then this show got overtaken with Andor and all this stuff. But, by the time I'm done, like, I'll yeah, probably how long do you think it's going to take you? Have you figured that out? Yeah, we're talking about that. Yeah. Uh, well, it depends. Like, I, I blaze through, you know, because some of these, like, one of the numbers, you know, was Tales of the Jedi. Uh, that's a eight minute episode. So then you knock that off, right? But then one of them's pretty gnarly. Uh, 18 uh, is the Clone Wars through Ryloth, right? Or, or, sorry, number 20 is the Clone Wars first half. Okay. Because then I want to read Shatterpoint, the Mace Windu novel, which is really good too. Oh. Shatterpoint's good. It's a good Mace Windu novel. Um, pretty gnarly. It's like Apocalypse Now, to be honest. It's pretty cool. So there's stuff like that. Like I literally import incorporate some of the non-canon stuff, and I know some stuff, but I do still have Frank Supercut in there. That is that is untouched. There you go. Someone even did an animated audio book of Labyrinth of Evil, which the the author did three books. He did Labyrinth of Evil, which takes place right before Revenge of the Sith. Then he did Revenge of the Sith. Then he did, I don't know if it's the same author, but then there was another novel called um, The Dark Lord, which was basically the first like month of uh, Obi- or Vader and Hunting Down the Jedi. It's right after Revenge of the Sith. And they considered it like, if you were ever to consider episode three in the fall of Anakin as like a three book trilogy, those are the three books. So, gotcha. like, I, and those aren't canon anymore, obviously. So mm-hmm. it's, it's interesting, but yeah. Uh, I invite anybody to join me along. You have time to catch up because I'm I'm slowing down a little bit here because of my my job. But um, yeah, uh, once you get to Clone Wars, then that's that that's the thing. When you get to Clone Wars, then like yeah. that, like you were saying, this takes forever. So I think like a year. What would you think? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. A year if you if you keep up a steady pace because you're right. Once you get to the Clone Wars, it's a bit of a slog, but it's like you're gonna throw it on, and you've seen all the episodes before, so you can just kind of you know run through those it'll it'll take yeah. a little time for sure but uh and then 
obviously the movies and stuff like that will take care of itself, but it's not too bad. Once you get through like the animated series and stuff, because Rebels again, that that'll take you a stretch of time. Yeah, um, and Rebels is tricky too because it's like I mean, I think you're going the order around Andor this time and Rebels and yeah, yeah like I yeah. do Bad Batch season two, then it's the oh, Thrawn right, right. comic series, then it's Solo a Star Wars story, then it's Jedi Survivor, then it's Obi Wan Kenobi, then it's Catalyst the Rogue One novel, then it's Star Wars the New Dawn, which is the premiere of of Hera and um, oh right and Kanan. Canaan uh, in book form. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a cool yeah. story. Uh, then, then you got all these novels, and then you do Rebel season one and two, then Andor season one, Rebels three and four, and then I'm guessing Andor season two, which won't be out by then. And then Rogue One, then A New Hope. Once you get to A New Hope, you're at 45, which means from <laughs> one to 45 is all the stuff that happens <laughs> before insane. A New Hope. And then it's kind of cruise, smooth sailing. Then you got like the Star Wars Darth Vader 2015 comic run, which mm-hmm. is fantastic, by the way, when he finds out that Anna, or that Luke is his son, or whatever. Yeah. Luke's he yeah. says Skywalker, and Boba Fett's Boba the one that Fett, delivered that yeah. news. So mm-hmm. then I, you I really get line, yeah, yeah. And then after Return of the Jedi, then it's like smooth sailing. Then you just got Bloodline from Leia, Book of Boba Fett, Sarlacc, Tuscan scenes only. Then stop, right? <laughs> so you got to do this. You got to be, yeah, you gotta yeah, be, yeah. It's it's crazy, that's fun. but that's fun. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I I highly recommend it, and uh, yeah, 